Good morning, folks. We've got yet another new sunspot group. Solar Wind acted like he was walking away and then turned and threw a left cross. We've got another earthquake uptick on our doorstep three days after Papua New Guinea rang out. We're also going to be taking a look at a planetary nebula, a supernova, new NASA animations, a paper on the sun and storms, and at the end, we'll discuss a job opportunity for programmers. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Just as sunspots crown the Earth-facing coronal hole, another opening appears darkly at the incoming eastern limb over to the left with yet another sunspot group above it. The new guy is the cause for the re-rise in solar flaring, even at low range. And while you watch the established groupings turn through center disk, keep your eyes on the left. New spots born and spreading. They do not yet have the size or surface coverage of the older groups ahead of it. Then again, those older groups have got no magnetic interaction. With a more compact incoming group, the polarities have no choice but to play together. Eyes on that one today. Solar wind? Come on, what is that? Very brief, very fast from the now departed coronal hole tail that was sort of tilting, flipping upward. It was over so quickly, though our magnetic shield didn't even have time to falter. But then again, we are expecting another stream in just 36 to 48 hours. That's from the central hole. It is a northern opening, but the tail end of it, and over on the left, that's the southern opening incoming. That system will begin to interact with Earth towards the end of the week as the CME couples to elevate the earthquake warning even more. Up next, we're out at Herschel, and we're looking at a preposterous amount of water in planetary nebula. The amazing part is that they see the formation being either photo-induced chemical change or shock-driven, wind-driven, energy and explosion-driven. Ladies and gents, that's just a more violent version of star water production at our planet and throughout our solar system. Up next, interesting story about a supernova event containing a major expanded brightening indicating the star threw off a great mass of material beforehand. That's an interesting read. Up next, we've got three new animations from NASA's Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio. First two are looking at Hurricane Matthew in, well, about every way we currently have to look at it. Fantastic sequence there, and also a peek in at the multiple systems that teamed up to throw an atmospheric river at the U.S. West Coast, one after another. A cautious but excellently written paper is out about storminess. How does it change over time, and is there a match with the solar cycle? These scientists cannot say yes. They were unable to reject the null hypothesis at only 75% confidence, but folks, that's 75% confident that the sun's playing a role. Remember, the solar cycle starts in the depths of the minimum, peaks in the middle at solar max, and then drops back down to solar minimum at the end. Folks, that's the storminess chart, not a sunspot chart. Weather lesson reminder for newcomers, pressure here, find the red low pressure earth spots. Those take the mass of precipitable water near the tropics and pulls it away from there transforming it into cloud vapor and the inclement weather as the material funnels into the low. Folks, many of you will remember that Nine Risi is taking my hours-long earthquake forecasting process and making a computer do it. They're also working on improvements to the Disaster Prediction app and a space weather integration tool. However, they need your help and so do I. Head over to NineRisi.com slash opportunities for an unusual but once-in-a-lifetime chance. Fair warning though, our weekly meetings are only half serious, the rest is pretty fun. I mentioned Starwater a bit ago. If you don't know, it's our number one series over at SuspiciousObservers.org, and as of this year, it is a free page, SuspiciousObservers.org slash Starwater. Check out your other free resources as well. We've got pressure and radar forecast here, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.